It's Friday once again, and this week it's our IBC 2024 wrap-up, with new product announcements from Panasonic, Sony, Atomos, and others. Panasonic has a couple of new 4K cube-shaped cameras, dubbed the AWUB10 and UB50, aimed at live productions, small studios, and just about everyone looking for a boxy 4K camera that is very riggable, has a large sensor and interchangeable lenses. Both cameras share the same body design, L-mount for extensive lens options, 3G SDI, HDMI and Ethernet ports for remote control. The UB50 comes with a full-frame sensor rated at 14 stops dynamic range in V-Log, while the UB10 has a smaller but still very capable 4 3rd sensor. Sony has released firmware update version 6.0 for the FX3, now finally adding the ability to use shutter angle instead of shutter speed for video, among other improvements, including better image quality when using LUTs, and the addition of the new 709 tone to picture profiles, which is sort of the new base profile among others and is also featured in the new Z200. Budget wireless maker Axoon unveiled their new Cineview Master 4K, a new low latency wireless transmission system with 4K 60p support, SDI and HDMI connectivity, 25 millisecond latency in 1080p, and their latest tri-band transmission, which supports up to 2.5 kilometers range, making it a seriously good proposition for a wide range of productions, including corporate, low-budget commercials, and everything in between. At IBC, Sigma showed off their new prototype CineZoom. The 28 to 45 millimeter T2 Cine comes with autofocus support, which is a first and one that I'm personally very much looking forward to. Based around the recently announced 28-45mm art lens, the Cine version features a beefier build with full-frame support with minimized focus breathing. If you want to see this lens in production, my advice is best to let Sigma know. And last but not least, Atomos had a bit of a surprise announcement, bringing back the Shogun Classic with Quad SDI switching and ISO recording aimed at multicam shoots, whether they be conferences, other live events, commercials, and many others. The familiar 7-inch monitor recorder also comes with XLR audio support, which is always welcomed. And that's all the time we have for today. Check out our IBC page linked below for more details on all these products and a lot more.